Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to don't know. Master A, you are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, Breaking Records Radio and the place to be. You know what it is, your man Maloney. And I got a very, very special guest on the phone with me right now. We only have him for a short time, but we have the legendary Positive K on the phone line with us right now. Yep, yep, you know it, yep, yep, you know it. That's right, it's Mr. Making Happen. Mr. What your man got to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> funny too going back and listening to oh my god a man and shit like that today i'm like yo in like 2019 certain people might consider these songs toxic and i'm like this is just regular like this is like this is what you had to do to pick up girls back in the day you know what i'm saying hey, listen if it wasn't for songs like that and that kind of attitude and that kind of energy uh you and i would probably not be here exactly <laughs> that's the funny shit man you know, and nowadays it's know, like you know Yeah. And um, it was crazy because the Village Voice did, a, did an interesting interview about it. And they were talking about, is this song, um, um, was this song like 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 kind of a, an aggressive record, you know, towards towards women? Oh, and I'm like. Say word. Yeah, no, they, they, they definitely did a lot of great talk. We talked about it. They were just trying to do it. And I'm like, you know, and, and my one number one comment was this to them. I was like, you know, you can't put, you can't put old wine in new wine skins. You know what I'm saying? Like? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you're talking, uh, what, 92, 93, maybe the album 92 to 95, 96. That was, that's, that was the backdrop of that. I mean, the cell phone didn't, really, it didn't emerge until 96, 97 for the, for the, for the regular working individual, you know, and, and even then it was a bit much for people. Yeah. You know? No, exactly. And that's the thing. It's like, and you know what? The thing is, like, I commend records like that because you go back and you look and it's like, this is the way it's supposed to be, man. People interacting with people. Like, if a girl ain't feeling you, then you got to get the vibe she ain't feeling you. Like, you know what I mean? But, like... This... And listen, but now, you, got, you, don't, you don't have that anymore, but you got more of the, um, uh, the criminal IG channel. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because people are meeting serial killers on the first date. Yeah, you, right? You, 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 you know, you're going to be like, this guy, I think I'm getting the bad, you know, but the body senses are tingling, and this chick ain't right. He's a stalker, or you know, he's a whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's a psychopath. You know, I, I, I don't think I want to do this. Yeah, you, you had a chance to get to know people and say, Nah, I'm not rocking with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a fact, man. It's funny, like, you know, growing up, I was always told, like, don't get in cars with strangers. And now you have an app on your phone where you pay to get in the fucking car with a stranger. You know what? That's actually crazy. I never even thought of it like that, like on a level like that. Like you could be meeting your soulmate or something, but you're doing too much research. You're you're turning yourself off the idea before you it, it could even actually come to fruition. That's crazy. True story. Uh, there was there was a few, but I had a relationship with, and I swear I went after her and I talked to her. I talked to her so I want to get to know you. I said, but uh, I remember at the time you hung out with a bunch of dudes, and most of everybody didn't have cars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the guy with the car was the, was, was the main dude, and he was the one that usually got the, the majority of the chicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I remember him I remember him jumping out, one of my partners jumping out, talking to the, the bad chick in the group. But well, I didn't want the bad chick in the group. Well, you know, with the bamboo earrings, the one with all the jewelry. You know, she had the crazy boots on and all that. She was dressed real fly. 
Yeah. Not in the other girls, but other girls are pretty. But all pretty girls ran in packs. You know what I'm saying? Like like wolves. Yeah. Say you word. Know, that's a true story. That's a true story. And I'm just trying to say that, that you know, she didn't do that, you know, uh, 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 a good time by the memories, um, holidays and, and birthdays and things would never been shared. That's because, you know, if, if it was in this time frame, her and I would have never met. Yeah, facts. Word up, man. 